not talk about race, right, and Black Lives Matter and the civil rights movement uh, and nuclear disarmament, how do we separate them when we look at who is mostly affected? They wanted us, but they wanted us on terms that was not fair to us. In 1982, it was because the Black United Front and Reverend Daughtry's leadership and G2 Bayutsi was so profound for us in our organization. When we look at uh, the French and where they tested their first nuclear weapon, it was in Africa. When we look at who was the victims of nuclear testing, Australian Aborigines and Native Americans. It was Mexican Americans and African Americans who were given the lowest paying, dirtiest jobs of cleaning nuclear spills and never actually getting any protection for that. I was the coordinator of the, the organizing for the June 12, 1982 march and rally. There was not enough, I think, a attention to the reality of racism in the country at large and within our movements as well, uh, and not enough of a commitment to challenge that. That there's no way that we can separate peace uh, from from civil rights. That these things are inextricably linked, and we have indeed seen this, you know, this this connection throughout the world. Like now, you hear us talking about how the intersection of nuclear weapons and the weather climate. You hear us talking about it as it relates to other human needs. And I'm like, that's always been there. We couldn't articulate it then because, like I said, it's always been a learning curve for everybody. The kind of knowledge and understanding you have of things are way different from what we had in 1982. It's hard to find an organization or a group that you feel comfortable with, but don't give up, right? If you can't find a group, make a group. Call your friends, call your relatives, talk to your neighbors, you know, find the people. What is the message to young people being involved today in a movement that we are spotlighting had what many consider its glory day in 1982? Uh, be naive, right, be naive. Because if you are naive enough to think that you could actually change the world and you may eliminate nuclear weapons, you may actually do so. 